Hi guys, this is the time for us to do modular arithmetic. Now, if you see numbers like this, we are actually doing modular arithmetic. This is being read as 12 is congruent to 2 modulo 5. Now, we would be discussing on how to do modular arithmetic. We actually have three cases with us. I'll be discussing for this video just the first case and the rest of the cases will be uploaded, all right? So, um, for visual learners, let's name first this number here as, say, A, and this one would be B, and this would be, say, N. Okay, now, our, our first case would be in the event that a is greater than n and that our a is positive there okay so what we'll be considering here would be a or the leftmost number would be greater than the rightmost number which is this number right here and considering of course that this one is positive okay so let's have an example this time oh yeah this one 12 that's 12 is congruent to what modulo 5 doing modular arithmetic a would be given and n would be given note that our a and b are are integers but our n here would always be positive integers so it means that our a and b here can be a positive or negative integers um but for the sake of cryptography layer on guys we would only be considering b as positive number all right but as you go higher in math our a and b can really be negative or positive number okay so let's have that one here 12 is congruent to what modulo 5 for us to know letter b here or the answer in this part we just have to divide the leftmost number by the rightmost number or we have to divide a by n let's do that one let's do that manually first so 12 divided by 5 the answer is 2 we have here 10 and our remainder would be 2 there the answer here or the letter b is actually the residue when we divide a by n that's the reason why our answer here is two easy right so let's check if we got that concept quickly what if my given here is 15 for a and we are to apply modulo 7 tick tock tick tock let's check if your answer is correct 15 divided by 7 we have here 2, 14, and 1. I hope your answer is correct that the residue here is 1. You see, doing modular arithmetic is easy if you know your multiplication table so well, right? And of course, if we are dealing with small numbers, um, problem exists if we are considering bigger numbers. But don't worry, we're already friends with our calculators, right? So, we'll be using our calculator, of course, if we are dealing with bigger numbers. For example, if we have here 213, and what if we are to apply modulo um, 16? There. Tick tock, tick tock. You see, it's hard to calculate that fast if you're doing or if you're having bigger numbers. But don't worry, because as long as you know the concept, and that is the number right here would be the residue when we divide this number by this number then we're good to go many ways to do this actually but um, I'll be discussing one of the ways using your calculator that would be this that 213 will be subtracted by 16 because of course if we are to divide 213 by 16 we're actually counting the number of 16s that we can do in 213 right so we can actually subtract 16 instead from 213 and we just have to keep on subtracting 16 so minus 16 there 
Now, note that the 181 is already the recent answer from your calculator. So I hope you were able to watch one of the videos I got there in Being Friends with Your Calculator playlist. Now, it says there that once you have the recent answer of 181 there, you may clear your cal do some clear in your calculator and just do ANS instead because it will consider right away the 181 there. Now, just continue subtracting 16 by pressing continuously equals. Equals, 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 equals there. Until we'll find a positive number which is now less than 16. So the answer here is 5. You see? Um, observe that, of course, our residues here are positive numbers and are less than the numbers right here. That's the reason why I, I mentioned earlier that the one that we'll get or we'll consider as our answer here will be a positive number, but this time less than 16. Okay, let's do that from our first example, if that's actually really a way to do that. That's 12 minus 5. Could be on subtracting 5, and that is 2. Correct. How about for 15? 15 minus 7, keep on subtracting 7. The answer there is 1. You see? Because actually the definition of, of, um, of modular arithmetic, guys, is that it has to be that n right here, here, our n should divide the difference between 12 and 2. That's for higher math. That when we do um, modular arithmetic, it's the same as saying that when we subtract 5 from 213, the answer must be divisible by this number right here, 16. Meaning, um, when we divide the answer of 213, um, when we divide 213 minus 5 by 16, the answer there must not have a remainder. Let's double check that one again if you're really abiding with the definition of, of a modular arithmetic. That's 213 minus 5. The answer is 208. When we divide 208 by 16, there, the answer is a whole number. So meaning it's divisible by 16, just like 12 minus 2 divided by 5 there okay so if you have if you have something like um, if you will just be guessing like if you have 15 is congruent to 1 modulo um, 6 you would know that this should really be not congruent because when you do 15 minus 1 the answer is 14, and when you divide that by 16, the answer is decimal, so it has a remainder, so it does not abide with the definition of modular arithmetic. Okay, so that's our first case in modular arithmetic. That is when our number A here, the leftmost, the leftmost number is positive and is greater than the rightmost number here, which is our letter N. Okay, so, so um, see you in my next two cases under modular arithmetic, right?